Hi, this is Matthias from MamaWorld.com and in this After Effects tutorial about automation blocks for After Effects, I want to give you some tips and tricks how to work with the code editor, this block editor here of automation blocks most effectively. Most of those tips also apply directly to the Premiere Pro version, so if you are just using it for Premiere Pro, you can watch this here too. So the one of the most important tips is whenever you have some block and you don't know exactly what it's doing, yeah, you can just write us, for example, let's say we don't kn know what the write to console block is doing. You can right click on it and choose help. And this will open the automation blocks documentation right at this point where this particular block is documented. And this should really work for all these blocks. And I think it's easy to discover. What some people might not really easily discover is that you can also go in the white area here and right click. And this will give you a different context menu. Most importantly, you've got here undo and redo. So if you, for example, move this block around, then you can right click and undo and it undoes the last operation that you did. And there's also a redo command, right? Uh, and note that this is different from going to edit undo because this undo operation would undo the last thing that you did in your After Effects project, whereas the undo that you have here in your context menu will undo whatever you did in this code editor here. There are some other useful things hiding in this uh, context menu. For example, clean up blocks. This means if you've got several block stacks here uh, in your uh, code editor, you can right click and clean up blocks and it will take all of them and arrange them one below the next one. So this is just an easy way to arrange elements in your code. Another thing I like in the context menu is that you can collapse parts of your code. So if you say, for example, this function here, I don't want to see the details of it, you can right click and say collapse and now it's collapsed and you can, for example, move it to the side. You can also just uh, collapse smaller parts. So if you feel like, okay, here I write something to the console and it takes a lot of space, I just right click on this and say collapse block and now just this part here has been made smaller. Another tip is if you want to steal code or reuse code from existing tools, you can simply put them in your backpack, which is this icon here. So currently the backpack is empty, but I can now take this entire function, for example, and put it in my backpack, and now it's here. And now if I start a new project or open another one, let's just pick here an arbitrary other tool. Uh, and yes, I really want to open a new tool in the library, and now you can take this out of your backpack and you've uh, now uh, the same code in your tool and can use it here too. Note that if you use functions, like in this case we copied the entire function cycle background colors, uh, you should make sure to also copy all other functions that this function is using internally. Like in this case, this normalize colors function, for example but we didn't copy that function. Therefore, automation blocks created a new empty function normalize colors when we pasted the code from the backpack. So you need to insert here now the implementation of that function and you can do that too by copying and pasting it with the backpack. Another little detail is the garbage or the trash can here. If you throw something in the trash can, obviously it is deleted. You can also put something there by just dragging it to the side of the window. And if you say, oh, I didn't actually want to delete it, you can of course undo the deletion, but you can also click here on the garbage and find everything you deleted before right inside of here. So you can also take anything out of the garbage at any loiter point if you want. Last but not least, notice that there are different appearances that you can choose from. So this is just the way this looks here, your code. It's not changing something on the code itself. But if you change the appearance from default to compact or pro, you can see that everything becomes a bit more smaller. Of course, you can also zoom in and zoom out here too. It's just really a different visual representation of the blocks and the compact or pro version tends to use a little bit less space. So for big projects, I sometimes prefer the compact, whereas usually I rather want to go, go with the default. But this is really up to you which one you like better. And I just recommend to try both and then decide which one is best for your workflow. Okay, so these were my tips how to use the code editor here most effectively. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with automation blocks and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.